Hello, this is Lucia with Como. I'm here today to show you how to get started with our wireless document camera. This is our QPC 50W, also known as a WanderCam 50W document camera. This tutorial is how to download it to a MacBook. So first of all, you'll need this document camera that has a magnetic base. You'll also need the USB wireless dongle. So this is our wireless card that comes with the document camera so your computer can connect to both the wireless document camera and your internet. And thirdly, make sure your document camera is charged with our USB cable that the camera comes with. The camera itself does hold six to 10 hours of charge. So if you have a charge, it should be good to go. If it's not charged, you can go ahead and plug it in, wait a couple minutes, turn it on, and then it's also ready to go while it's charging. Next, you want to download the wireless camera software. To do this, go to Como.com, Search QView software. You will see a couple QView wireless softwares that pop up. Make sure it says wireless. Click on the Mac software. If you see the following window pop up, you may go to Security Preferences through System Settings, right click, Security and Privacy, and click Open Anyway. Go through and click Install. And there you go. Your new software is installed. Now you can go to your finder and search Keyview Wireless. Your software is installed, but now you need to connect your camera to it. The bottom of the page will have helpful resources. Over here, you will see Wi-Fi receiver drivers. Click on install package. and install. If you get a message that says this, click on Open Security Preferences. And click on Allow. The driver takes a couple minutes to install, but once it's installed successfully, it will indicate it and just continue following the instructions. After restarting the computer, you will see an icon over here. This is the USB Wi-Fi driver. Now you can take your USB dongle and plug it into the laptop. Upon plugging the USB dongle in, you will see that the USB icon turns green. Go to your network under System Preferences. So I right click, Find Network. 
you will see the USB 3.0 adapter. It might show up as something else. It would just be anything other than what you had before on this list. You can click on it and go to this drop down. I recommend for you to rename this. Rename service wireless camera. That makes it easier for me to remember where to connect my wireless camera to. Now that I see that this is wireless camera, I also want to change the order of preferences to where my Wi-Fi gets connected. So to do this, go to the drop down. Go to set service order. When you open the service order menu, you'll see that the wireless camera dongles defaulted to connect to your Wi-Fi first. This might not be the case in every computer, but it's good to check. Make sure your internal Wi-Fi, which is just the Wi-Fi or whatever is defaulted on your computer, is the first item on this list. That means when you open your Safari or your Zoom, it will default to your internal Wi-Fi. To do this, simply drag and drop below Wi-Fi and click on OK. Click apply and that means all your changes have been saved. All right, so let's get started. Now that we have our wireless software and drivers downloaded, you can get your camera ready and click the on button down here. When it's on, you will see a blue light over here. If you do want to illuminate any objects below the camera, there is a light source up here. Simply click on it and you'll see that there is some LED lights. When you have turned your document camera on, go to your wireless network and search for, you'll see Como underscore and some more information over here. This is your Como wireless camera. Click on it. On the side of your Como wireless camera, you will see a password. Click join, and then you will see that your camera is connected. Now you can launch your software that you downloaded earlier. And there you go. You can see notes that you want to present. You can change the different resolutions. So if you want a higher resolution, you can bump it up. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. If you want a faster response time, you can turn down the resolution a little bit to 1080p. Now you'll notice the camera is much faster. If you want to show a full document, you can bring your camera to the side. So now you see that your document is sideways. You can rotate it. Zoom out, and now you can capture your full document. You can also use the software to take pictures.
or even record videos. If you want to access your recorded videos or pictures, go to the file path that you saved it under. For mine, I saved it on my desktop. This document camera is a great way to go through flashcards, to show real-time demonstrations, you can also use it to take notes in live time. The great thing about this camera is you aren't constrained to one location. If I want to move locations, I can grab the camera and move it to a different station. If you want to share this camera image virtually, you can launch a video conferencing software. In this example, I'll use Zoom. Go to New Meeting. Go to Share Screen. And click on the KeyView Wireless software. Now you can share your document camera image and invite participants online to view your lesson. When you're ready to stop sharing, you can click stop share. Well, this concludes my tutorial on how to use our Como QPC 50W, also known as a WannerCam 50W wireless document camera with your MacBook. If you have any questions, please let us know. You can always contact us at hello at Thank you for joining me today.